Hey, what's good viewers? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper. This is a pretty old figure and I'm just now getting around to doing reviews of him. Here's the figure itself. Looks like a Stormtrooper. And his hand looks messed up in there. So hopefully that's not an issue. Hopefully he didn't come with like two left hands or anything. Here's just a picture of some Stormtroopers. Just a pretty basic... Uh, box. I mean, all, this, all the Black Series boxes look like this. So, instead of boring you to death, let's just open it up. So here's the Stormtrooper out of package. Of course, we got the classic Stormtrooper design here going on. I really like it. Hasbro did a great job molding this. Um, let's get a closer look here. We can even see the vents on the back of his head. And as he spins around, he got the little plugs back there in his back. The mold, the armor looks okay. Everything looks great. Uh, I don't really see many paint apps that are mishaps or whatever, paint mishaps. There are a few. Um, everything turned out really great though. I like the little fanny pack he's got there. The holster, the gun fits well in there and it stays in there. Get a quick pick, quit a click, get a quick look at the gun here. You see some gizmos and stuff right there. Just some pretty basic stuff. Um, looking at the feet. I'm really surprised that I'm not seeing more paint mishaps. Everything looks to be coming out pretty okay. Uh, I just wanted to point out here, I think this is pretty basic design. How both kneecaps are different, so everything looks great. Everything checks out. No complaints on the mold or paint. Good job, Hasbro. You take a look at the gun he comes with. I'm not sure how accurate this gun is to the movie at all, to be honest. I can't say I recall a single scene where they're using this gun. Um, it is a really nice gun, though. It's got a lot of great design to it. Not a lot of you know different colors. Just a solid black. But design-wise, looks pretty cool. Lots of cool gizmos going on there and the scope and everything. I mean, take a look at the regular Stormtrooper blaster he's got in his holster, which comes with the holster, which I really like. It fits well in the holster. It's pretty cool. If I can just get it to focus. And there's just the uh, normal blaster we get. Mine's a little crooked. It's bent a little bit. Articulation-wise, they also did great. He's got head articulation. It's just on a giant ball joint right there. You can do the exorcist and all that. You can look down that far, and you can look up that high. His arms are going to go out that far, which is not very far at all, but he is a stormtrooper. They were pretty clunky in the old movies. You know, if you watch like some of the opening clips where the stormtrooper hits his head and everything, and they're tripping over each other. He's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, pretty good range of motion out of that. And then the wrist is a little 360, and there's a hinge there. This one has a forward backwards hinge. The hinge is right here on the wrist. This one has a side hinge, which I hate these. That'll go like this. So this hinge is right here on the wrist. Um, not a big fan of that, but I've been getting a lot of Hasbro figures that way lately for some reason. Ab articulation, not a whole lot, but again, these are pretty clunky guys. They're pretty clunky in the movies, so leg articulation goes out that much kicks back that much which not as in, doesn't kick back at all actually knee articulation double jointed great range of motion out of that and then we got the hinge on the ankle with the ankle rocker included so overall I really really like the Hasbro Black Series Stormtrooper everything came out well just a little bit of paint mishap right there articulation is perfectly fine uh, Mold looks great. No complaints really whatsoever. I mean, great price, only 20 bucks. I found quite a few in these in my, of these in my store. I didn't really find a single uh, clone trooper. I found one, and uh, that was about it. I've seen the clone troopers, like the commander clone troopers, but not any of the basic ones. Anyways, that's all random information. Compared to like the recent Revil Tech release, I'm, I'm going to have to vouch for this one over that one, because that one costs like 40 bucks, and... From what I've seen, the face in those ones didn't come out too well, which is a little bit disappointing. I don't understand what it is with the Japanese companies and their face molds, but I like this face mold a lot. Hasbro did a great job on this figure. There's no real reason to go out and buy a $40 Stormtrooper that can do all this articulation when Stormtroopers didn't even weren't even able to do all that stuff in the movie. That's just a little advice for me. Take it or leave it. I mean, if you got the other Stormtrooper more power to you. I'm sure it's a really cool figure. I'm willing to bet you could probably find these for cheaper than $20 now. So just, I would go for these. I really like them. Anyways guys, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're looking for more cool toys, check out Big Bad Toy Store. I got a link in the description below. Uh, other than that, I hope you all have a good day. Peace out. Later.